everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I have a question for you. Do any of you play tennis? I don't. I mean, I'd love to. Learn how someday. But that's not the point of this. The point is today's question. Why is a tennis racket designed the way that it is? You see, take a look at this tennis racket. Why is it designed that way? What do you notice? Well, unlike a baseball bat or a ping pong paddle, a tennis racket has mesh or crossed strings instead of a solid surface. But why is that? Well, I'll tell you. It is because the mesh creates an elastic surface that moves slightly with the ball and helps the ball to move. You see, rackets with high tension, meaning less elastic, give the player more control on where the ball goes. Rackets with lower tension, or more elastic, give the player more power to make the ball go farther or faster. So it really depends on what type of tennis player you are. What's your style? You'll need to show me your style of your designs. Your challenge, should you choose to take it, design a racket. Use everyday material you'd find around your house. And then you must be able to hit a target with a ball or an object. Look around your house to see what you could use. Here are some suggested materials. You could use string or yarn, straws, tape, paper towel rolls, balloons, rubber bands, glue, tin foil, paper clips, plastic wrap, paper and pens, bendable wire, a small ball, or anything else you might find around your house. Be creative. Then brainstorm your design. There are some questions you need to consider. How fine or loosely spaced should the weave of your racket be? What materials do you plan to use for the mesh? How will you attach the mesh to the frame so it doesn't pull away when you hit the ball? Does the surface area of your mesh matter? And what is the best thickness for the handle? Once you have dreamed up your design, start to build. And once you test it, don't worry if you have to start over again. That's the whole engineering design process. Engineers do that every day. It's what that's all about. Once you have built your design and it works, determine how far you can hit your ball with your racket. Make a target, put that target on the wall, make sure it has a bullseye, and then hit either a ball or a small object. Can you hit the bullseye? Can you get an exact bullseye? Make sure you don't break anything in your parents' house doing this. <laughs> but share your results, let us know. What did you come up with? What works about your design? And have fun.